In this video, you are going to learn how to make an academic poster like this for less than $30. First, we're going to go to tinywow.com because we need to convert your file, whether it's a PowerPoint or PDF, to a JPEG. The link to this website will be in the description for this video, but you just convert your file and then the next thing that we want to do is download that file. Next, go to spoonflower.com and under design and sell, click upload a design. I have the Rakuten plugin, so I activated cashback. And if you don't already know, Rakuten is just an easy cashback tool. When you sign up with my link, you can actually get $40 back for spending $40 within 90 days. Back to Spoonflower, we're just going to go ahead and upload our design, which is the JPEG file that we saved earlier. It'll take a few seconds to populate your image, but then you can start playing around with some general formatting. The main concern is that you want to pick the right fabric. You want to choose Performance Piquet because it's lightweight, anti-wrinkle, and shiny, and it'll make your poster look awesome. Then you can move on with centering your image, which is what I recommend. Next up, you want to make sure that you're choosing the right size and amount. For this, I recommend checking conference guidelines. I knew that a yard would work for the conference that I was attending, but that may vary. If you're confident in how the proof looks, you can move forward, but I recommend that you confirm the image size and that you're using the correct pixels by using Spoonflower's sizing guide. So I went down to the fabric types and confirmed which is the right size for performance piquet. And if you're not very tech savvy and you don't know what to do or how to convert your image, don't freak out because at the bottom of this guide, Spoonflower has so kindly linked to different templates and programs that can help you do this. Here I scrolled down and realized that I could use Photo P to update the pixels for the image that I was using. So the next optional step is to go ahead and resize with Photo P. The way that I did that was by going to image, image size, and then just updating the pixels from there based on the sizing guide that I had looked at on the Spoonflower website. Once I did that, I could just go ahead and save this new image as a JPEG once again. Not knowing how to use this program, that took me a couple minutes, which I sped through in this clip, but after that, you can pretty much return to Spoonflower and go through the same process that we did before to upload the new image as your design and then repeat steps four to six to make sure that your formatting is the way that you want it to be. From there, all you have to do is add to cart. And for me, I had to delete the old options that I had there. When I recorded this video, it was only 2160, maybe 27 after shipping, but now you'll never have to carry one of these big poster containers ever again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the reveal in my next video.